Hey everyone, we are back playing as Control the Message. Find ourselves up against Jesminder. Hmm, that is tricky. Also, they asked if spoilers are okay, so not entirely sure what to expect from it now. Um, opening hand, not ideal. I think we throw it back. Try again. This got worse. So we gotta watch out for like vamp siphon things like that. The usual Jasmine stuff. Uh, outside of that, I'm not entirely sure what their game plan is. And now I'm wondering, I'm trying to cycle through the spoilers that have been released. Net Merker, maybe? Mercer? Maybe? Outside of that, I'm not entirely sure. I don't love our opening hand, but maybe we can get like Sansa and Sansi down and distract them for a little while. Oh, it got so much worse. I think we just, uh, Jackson, tidy things up a little bit. And start again. I'm willing to just draw... No, let's draw two. Mm, draw one. And we'll pitch our agendas. And now the question is, do we think they're playing Rumor Mill? If they are, you'll never see this video. So you can see kind of our game plan already. Uh, we're trying to get Sensi or Sansan, Sensi, team sponsorship, things like that down. Code Siphon. This is a card you do not see much. Um, it's also an unusual one. I suppose it's a tutor. They won't get a discount on it. But they're avoiding the tag anyway, so... Interesting. And they'll get a program out anyway. I think this card makes control the message that but more annoying, as if it wasn't bad enough already. Because you feel, okay, I've spent a lot trashing a San San, I've worked around tags, all that kind of thing, and now it's back. So hopefully we can get it to fire a couple of times, get some good stuff out of it. Dagger is out, I'm ready to go. Which means Cobra is going to get a little bit worse, although they're going to have to find a stealth credit to be able to break it anyway, so maybe not too bad. Quandry is fine. Uh, it'll hold off until they find their refractor at least. I think for the moment we just put this on R&D um, and then test and see how much they want to run. If we can get Sensi up and running for a little while, that's a good get for us. Maybe we can find it our Mumbad virtual tour pretty quick. Which, again, makes things just so much more annoying. But then again, aren't all sponsored posts, posts fairly annoying? There's the siphon. So unfortunately we can't duck it. We were one credit too short. Which was silly. But at least we can kind of protect ourselves. Maybe find something to bounce back with. Let's see. So hard hitting news may not be much good to us for a while. It's a pretty good hand, I think. Hard hitting news is the worst of it, so I might put that back. Um, put the quandary on HQ. It's not great, but it'll do for the moment. We can credit sweeps. Not that exciting, but better than nothing. At least it gives us enough to res both pieces of ice anyway. Mm. 
next turn we might be able to start flooding the board with assets. There are times when I'm playing and I feel I should put in a diversified portfolio, but as has been pointed out rightfully by some people, it is a win more card as opposed to, you know, helping you in any way. Because if you have 15 assets out, you're probably in a good spot already. They're coming for Jackson, so understandably, we are going to shuffle away our three agendas. Now, one point that people have made about controlling the message is it does suffer against, like, Siphon Vamp decks because it doesn't run much ice. And it certainly doesn't run much big ice, which is the case in this deck. So really we need to kind of make them whittle away themselves. And... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we can force them into spending money. Modded, of course, is going to help them out quite a lot in saving money. And for Refractor, their hand must be really good if uh, they're spending two card or a card on modded or if they're spending modded to reduce Refractor by one. Anyway, let's uh, draw three. Keep the hand tidy. Card hitting news. Still probably not much good. Exchange of info. Probably not great either. But I might keep them and hold on to the team sponsorship for later. We'll just stick down all of these things. See if they want to spend a lot of time and money trashing things. I think this is a card you need to target ASAP. Especially when it's not protected by like a price hack, a Mumbad virtual tour, anything like that. I will admit, playing against Jasminder has caused me some problems in the past. Uh, it's amazing how that first tag ability can, can add up over time. But maybe if we can find like a Raven for HQ as well, it makes Siphons and Vamps a little less tempting. Yeah, I suppose you have to trash any senses. Now you might as well make your way over for the second one as well. Pad is certainly a less tempting prospect. But I suppose it's good to check these things out. See what you're kind of dealing with. Hmm, okay, they're just going to spend everything. Not trashing the other Sensi. I don't agree with that. You know it's there. I think now that you've avoided the first tag anyway, you might as well go for it. You know it only costs two. Unless they're just trying to find all the bits and pieces that we can use to duck siphons. I don't know. Because now they're... And easy heart hitting news. So I'm a little confused by that play, I have to say. I 
And getting rid of Marit. What the hell? Now I have much luck with Marit. So we will use Sensi. And we find our <laughs> Mumpad virtual door. We also find a Beal, which could be quite useful. And they don't seem to be playing too many resources. So I think for the moment we'll sack that. And let's just install this into a new remote. Uh, install this on top of the Sensi to try and keep it safe. And then Heritage News. So at the moment the virtual tour isn't much protection for the Sensi because they're too poor to trash it, but that's kind of a mixed blessing for controlling the message. I mean, sure, they're not wasting money on the virtual tour, but they are also, you know, kind of where you want them for hard hitting news, uh, to not be able to trash your assets, all that kind of thing. So it's pretty good. I think we draw three again. Commercial bankers is excellent and a virtual tour to go with it. So I'm happy with that. So much so that I think we pitch the Archangel for the moment. And hope that our tiny piece of ice will keep us going for a little while. Psychographics could work out well. So we don't have much money. But hopefully we can get something rolling soon. Commercial bankers would be a great one for us. And we have two sand sands on the board as well. So I assume next turn they're going to be building up for a uh, remove all four tags. Which is good for us, because we'll start ticking away getting some money for us. Um, I suppose we could, because we could install, or we could draw Astro, which would be great for us right now. But we don't, but we can put this to the bottom. And we can get another commercial bankers at least. I think it's more tempting than the Beal. Which I'm happy enough to just put out. I mean, it wastes a bit of their time. Hopefully they won't run everything. We'll put out a Jackson as well. So, they're welcome to check everything. But they also should be conscious of the tag element. I mean, if it comes to the point where you're taking tags, you're kind of not using Jez's ability. Huh. So that is the spoiler that they were doing. I like it. That's, uh, that's pretty tasty. So you spend two clicks and you spend four credits and you remove all four tags. It's not bad. Zero cost program, but it does take up a memory space. So I suppose you could start flooding yourself with tags and then remove them all. It's an interesting one. It's an interesting one. But we are going to get a beal and continue to rack up some money. We cannot psychographics anymore, but I mean, we, we swung for the fences with drawing an astro. Didn't work out for us. So instead, we're just going to advance the beal and score it out. Leaves us enough to res a sand sign. Mm, the exchange is tempting. Or we could go Jackson. Yeah, I think Jackson for the moment, because we have one on the board. Team sponsorship, things like that will help us get everything back. 
and hopefully we can get enough money very soon to get our sans sand rolling drawn to team sponsorship and then just start snowballing from there Beth means we don't want to have too much money, so the commercial bankers could actually come back to bite us. Because five clicks is pretty powerful. Um, I don't know. These are all pretty good. So Explode for Lose is the worst of the lot. Uh, let's put pad out. Let's get a data raven in for HQ maybe. Can put down the sensi again. It's just assets they don't seem to really care about at the moment. And we'll put this on HQ just in case. So next turn we could go with the breaking news play and kill off Beth. Unless we happen to draw into Astro, which would be much, much better for us. We have Jackson as well. A mirror. So it's very much a stealth build. They don't seem to have gotten the draw that they would have liked. I mean, this mounted would have been much nicer than what they ended up with. So we will sensey and we can pitch... Uh, this down to the bottom. We have money cards, but I'm going to resist using them. Instead, just res the sand sand, get the breaking new scored, and kill off Beth. And they can't do anything about that. Nope. So into server two. Advance at the once to score and trash Beth. We will get rid of maybe toll booth and maybe close accounts. Again, with the aim of Jacksoning back everything. And this puts them in the situation now where they kind of have to trash the sand sand. But they're not doing great economically. Econ economically? Wow. And uh, again, heart hitting news is a threat. Misdirection is good, but it's going to be time consuming and still costs you four credits. So it's a tricky position to be in. Now, from our point of view, we could just go with the Beal score. We have money in hand, but we also have the two commercial banker groups resed. Six credits per turn. Clickless economy. That's serving us pretty well. Oh, and a pad that I've forgotten to res. So currently they're not able to do a wrap round. Inti, I'm sure, will come out or Lady. Shaper has its its tools to get through it. Ooh, paperclip and from hand. It's always painful. And yeah, I think we just go for the score here. And even if they trash this one, we have a second one on the board. It looks like things have been a little too slow for Jesminder. Now, unfortunately, I have the experience that if you let her keep going, she will come back with a vengeance in the late game. Maybe we should have used the Sensei to draw into another 3-2. Find the Astro or the third Beal that's in there. But, uh... 
I think we have a little bit of time. So do we even bother? We, mm, I don't think we do because they'll get the recurring credit back anyway with with Mirror. So I think we just let them through. They're only going to see one card and we can cycle through anyway. So rather than spending two credits, I think we just do that. We can in fact see the top six cards if we really want to. And if we don't see anything good in this Sensi, we can hard hitting news again and make them spend the four. Raven. Raven's the most annoying for them to do. Mm, no, it's not, because Jasmine. Um, yeah, I don't really see a point in raising here. We're not going to lose anything from hand. And the quandary isn't going to keep them out either, so I think we just let them through. Hopefully draw something with the Sensi. And close it out. If not, we can money up hard in news. And that's fine, I suppose. So let's draw three. Let's see if we can draw we cannot. Draw breaking news. Eh, it's fine, but I don't see much in it, so I think we're just going to money up this turn. <laughs> so close. Uh, let's money up and hard to do news. Again, just waste our time, waste a little bit of money. Alternatively, if they don't clear tags, we can psychographics out the explosive loser. So it is a it's a tricky place for them to be in. Losing two quick two clicks on all their credits here, not great. But as I said, if they don't, we have a path to victory. And okay, they're just gonna keep. So well, no, they they only need the two clicks. But it's been a slow setup for them so far. Uh, the modded came at the worst possible time. They used one on Refractor. Uh, Siphon is kind of fine. They can spend the two clicks and six credits. Um, yeah, we'll raise the, the Raven here. They'll have to spend a credit more at least. Oh yeah. So we can make them spend some real money. At least they're not benefiting as much. Or they can just use the cloak here on Refractor. I don't know, they're going to be up to the six tags. I don't know if they're in, you know, that much of a better position than they were earlier this uh, this turn. Because they spend the rest of the turn in six credits to remove all the tags. It's not that great for them. Now, if they were to vamp us here, that'd be pretty good. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's just Sensi find one Astro or one Beal. And there it is. 
no SMC on the board. So we shall just score out the wheel. And finally, a team sponsorship arrives. So yeah, NBN, still really, really good. You can take fat, fast advanced tools off them, but it's still pretty relentless. We didn't have a huge amount of money this game, but we had enough to, yeah. Oh no. And unfortunately I don't get to do the chatter afterwards. But hope you enjoyed the game. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching.